I'm a, um, a law professor whose major specialty is labor law. Um, and of course, uh, what I try to do uh, by virtue of my work uh, on the outside is integrate uh, my involvement with uh, the outside world into my classroom and so that hopefully the students will get some practical sense of what the black letter law really means in the, in the real world. Well, uh, the book of course uh, arises in the wake of uh, a, a great deal of uh, involvement of uh, unions and uh, other labor disputes in, in baseball. Uh, and so it uh, focuses, as its title indicates, uh, on uh, the labor issues that have really been with baseball for uh, almost the entire 140 years of the existence of uh, professional baseball. And, and what I do is try to provide the reader with a, an overview and a, a summary and point out how the game has changed, uh, both uh, off the field in terms of resolution of labor disputes and uh, business matters uh, that arose uh, in the early years and then in the 1940s and uh, then in more recent years subsequent to the Union and how the game of baseball also has changed. I, I reminisce about uh, uh, the way uh, I saw the game and played the game uh, as a child uh, and uh, the, uh, the way in which I saw it with my parents, particularly my father, and uh, went to games with my sons, and uh, how I see it uh, today. I had this uh, interest in baseball, though, essentially first, and uh, then I began to develop an interest in labor law, really because of my uh, focus upon uh, societal inequities uh, generally. and. Uh, my concern that uh, there be a, a policy of workplace uh, democracy. It's, uh, it was very uh, exciting and, uh, uh, and uh, it, it, it brought together uh, uh, some of the deep feelings of uh, a passion that I have uh, uh, for the game. Um, and it, it, it pulled together uh, in a way, um, I like to think uh, the story of my life. It was a, um, a fast forward uh, through uh, my life as I saw these things develop as a child and uh, then when I was uh, in law school uh, and uh, my memories of uh, when I first began to practice labor law with the United Auto Workers in Detroit and I used to go out to the games at Briggs Stadium as it was called then, then subsequently Tiger Stadium. And I uh, went to uh, a number of the games uh, that were played, uh, seeing the Red Sox wherever I could. Uh, uh, people um, uh, used to kid me about the fact that I arranged my schedule so as to uh, be in a particular city at the time that the Red Sox were there. So that I could bring back uh, all of these memories in the book, but weave them into uh, the labor issues and uh, uh, the new uh, circumstances of uh, uh, the 1980s, the 1990s, and then uh, the early part of this century. My uh, emotions over these years and my view of the world have tended in part to kind of go up and down depending upon the fortunes of the Red Sox and here we are at a particular time where uh, the Red Sox collapses of uh, epic proportions in the year 2011 and uh, I'm in uh, a bit of mourning and uh, a sense of uh, discombobulation here uh, today uh, but uh, I'm forever hopeful that uh, we'll pull things together and look just fine in 2012. Uh, three areas of law that uh, are very important in baseball and in sports generally contracts, contract interpretation, um, but and, and antitrust law because uh, uh, when the teams get together and establish rules, uh, sometimes sports teams generally have been found to uh, 
have to engage in the so-called restraint of trade and or engage in collusive activity which subjects them to antitrust liability. Though the Supreme Court in 1922 held that antitrust law, in a case that we like to think uh, was one of Justice Holmes' uh, not so good or average days, wrote that, that uh, antitrust law did not apply to baseball because it was not a business or interstate in it or an industry within uh, the meaning of uh, the Commerce Clause and uh, within the meaning of the antitrust law. The principal uh, area of law, fortunately for me, that's uh, uh, involved to baseball has been uh, labor law, and uh, uh, the which involves uh, the handling of disputes about the duty to bargain in good faith, uh, the right to strike, the right to um, lock out, um, and uh, various other kinds of unfair labor practices. And particularly important in this area has been the development of so-called grievance arbitration machinery to resolve uh, disputes uh, uh, between players, uh, the unions, and the owners. And um, here again, I've been particularly fortunate because uh, I uh, have been an arbitrator uh, since the 1960s, and uh, baseball uh, selected me to uh, arbitrate some of the salary disputes uh, arising in the early uh, 1990s. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, when I became chairman of the National Labor Relations Board, uh, appointed by President Clinton, uh, I remember saying to uh, a couple of my good friends, oh, it's too bad that uh, I won't have these uh, baseball labor matters anymore. And some of them said to me, you watch out. Um, a big dispute is coming uh, in baseball. Um, because of the difficulties that the union and the owners are having resolving their differences and sure enough uh, we were right uh, in the middle of it uh, there in the 1990s uh, trying to uh, sort out labor law controversies. Well, I think that uh, I hope readers will take away from this book a sense of, uh, of how uh, the game has uh, changed on and off the field, and how uh, uh, the law, particularly labor law, but also in some of the other sports, antitrust law, uh, has played a uh, big role in uh, the direction that the game has uh, changed. And uh, I hope that uh, people will take away uh, from uh, reading this book uh, some sense of the personal experiences that I've had with uh, uh, wonderful uh, good friends like uh, Dusty Baker, particularly when he was the manager of the San Francisco Giants, and uh, a lot of the people that I've talked to, sometimes in formal interviews uh, and sometimes uh, uh, informal. So uh, I hope that uh, this will um, uh, enhance uh, the, the, the understanding of uh, many readers about our national pastime and how the law plays a role in it.